Section. The Era of 1-Bit LLMs. In this section, we delve into the recent advancements in the field of artificial intelligence, particularly focusing on the development and implications of large language models, or LLMs. These models have significantly improved in both size and capability, showcasing exceptional performance across various natural language processing tasks. However, their growth has not come without challenges. Specifically, the deployment of these larger models has become increasingly difficult, and there are growing concerns about their environmental and economic impacts due to the high energy consumption they entail. To tackle these issues, one strategy that has been explored is the use of post-training quantization. This method involves reducing the precision of the weights and activations within the models, which in turn significantly lowers both the memory and computational demands of LLMs. While the industry has gradually shifted from using 16-bit representations to lower-bit versions, such as 4-bit, this approach is not without its drawbacks, particularly in terms of optimality. A particularly promising development in this area is the emergence of 1-bit model architectures, such as BitNet. These models operate on a much simpler mathematical basis compared to traditional LLMs. Instead of relying on floating point operations, which are computationally expensive, BitNet's matrix multiplication relies solely on integer addition. This change significantly reduces the energy costs associated with running LLMs, which is a critical factor given that power consumption is often the limiting factor in computing performance. Moreover, this energy efficiency can translate into faster computation times. Another aspect where 1-bit LLMs excel is in the process of transferring model parameters from dynamic random access memory, DRAM, to the memory of on-chip accelerators, such as static random access memory, SRAM. This process can be costly in terms of both time and resources, especially when attempting to increase SRAM capacity to boost throughput. In contrast, 1-bit LLMs, due to their reduced memory footprint, can alleviate these costs, enabling quicker and more efficient inference. In our work, we introduce a novel variant of the 1-bit LLM called BitNet B1.58. This model is unique in that every parameter can take one of three values, minus 1, 0, or plus 1. By incorporating a 0 value, we effectively increase the model's precision to 1.58 bits in binary terms. Despite this increase, BitNet B1.58 maintains all the advantages of the original 1-bit model, including a computation paradigm that eliminates the need for most multiplication operations in matrix multiplication leading to significant optimizations. Furthermore, it matches the energy consumption and outperforms the memory efficiency, throughput, and latency of traditional FP16 LLM baselines. BitNet B1.58 also introduces two key improvements. First, it enhances the model's ability to filter features, thanks to the inclusion of zero in the model weights. This capability significantly boosts the performance of 1-bit LLMs. Second, our experiments demonstrate that BitNet B1.58 can achieve comparable results to full precision models in terms of perplexity and task-specific performance, starting from a model size of 3 billion parameters, when configured similarly. Focusing on the architecture, BitNet B1.58 builds upon the original BitNet design which is a transformer model that replaces traditional linear layers with bit linear layers. It is trained from scratch with 1.58-bit weights and 8-bit activations. We have made several modifications to the original design, which we summarize below. For weight quantization, we employ an ABS mean quantization function. This function scales the weight matrix by its average absolute value before rounding each weight to the nearest integer among minus 1, 0, or plus 1. Unlike the original BitNet, we do not scale the activations before nonlinear functions to a specific range. Instead, we scale activations per token to a range that eliminates the need for zero-point quantization, simplifying both implementation and optimization without significantly affecting performance. Lastly, in an effort to support the open source community, BitNet B1.58 incorporates components similar to those found in Llama, the backbone of many open source LLMs.
This includes using RMS norm, SWE glue, rotary embedding, and removing all biases. By doing so, BitNet B1.58 can be easily integrated into popular open source software with minimal effort, furthering its accessibility and potential for widespread adoption. Section Summary In this section, we explore the era of 1-bit large language models, LLMs, where the focus is on reducing the memory and computational requirements of LLMs by using post-training quantization techniques. We introduce BitNet B1.58, a 1.58-bit LLM variant that retains the benefits of 1-bit BitNet while offering stronger modeling capabilities and matching full precision baselines in terms of perplexity and end task performance. Additionally, BitNet B1.58 is based on the BitNet architecture, trained with 1.58-bit weights and 8-bit activations, and incorporates Llama-alike components for easy integration into open-source software. Section. Results. In this section, we discuss how we compared BitNet B1.58 with our own version of the FP16 Llama LLM across various model sizes. To make sure the comparison was fair, we trained both models on the Red Pajama dataset, using 100 billion tokens. We then tested how well the models could understand and respond to language tasks without any prior specific training on those tasks. These tasks included a variety of challenges like Arc Easy, Arc Challenge, Helleswag, Winogrande, PIQA, OpenBook QA, and Bool Q. We also looked at how perplexed the models were when trying to predict text from the Wikitext 2 and C4 datasets, which is a way to measure how well they understood the text. Additionally, we measured how much memory the models used on the GPU and how long they took to respond, using the faster transformer codebase to ensure the tests were optimized for speed on GPU devices. For BitNet B1.58, we also used a special 2-bit technology from Ladder to help it run faster and use less memory. We focused on the time it took for the models to generate each token since that's a big part of the cost when using these models. Our findings showed that when the models reached a size of 3 billion parameters, BitNet B1.58 began to perform as well as the full precision Llama LLM in understanding the text, but it was over two times faster and used significantly less memory. Specifically, the 3.9 billion parameter version of BitNet B1.58 was not only faster and more memory efficient but also performed better than the 3 billion parameter Llama LLM. When we looked at how the models performed on specific language tasks without any prior training, the gap between BitNet B1.58 and Llama LLM got smaller as the models got bigger. Importantly, starting from a size of 3 billion parameters, BitNet B1.58 could match the performance of the full precision model, showing that it's a better choice in terms of both efficiency and effectiveness. We didn't stop there. We pushed the models to sizes of 7 billion, 13 billion, and even 70 billion parameters and looked at how this affected their speed and memory use. As expected, the larger the model, the faster BitNet B1.58 became compared to Llama LLM especially at 70 billion parameters where it was over four times faster. We also estimated how much energy the models used for calculations, focusing on matrix multiplication since it's a big part of what makes these models work. Our analysis showed that BitNet B1.58 was much more energy efficient, saving a significant amount of energy on calculations compared to Llama LLM. This efficiency only increased as the models got larger. Finally, we tested how many tasks the models could handle at once, their throughput, on two high-end GPU cards. We found that BitNet B1.58 could handle up to 11 times more tasks at once than Llama LLM, leading to almost 9 times higher throughput. This shows that BitNet B1.58 not only performs better but can also handle more work at once, making it a game-changer for large-scale language model performance and cost. Section Summary. In this section, we compared BitNet B1.58 to our reproduced FP16 Llama LLM across various sizes after pre-training on the Red Pajama dataset for 100 billion tokens. We evaluated zero-shot performance on multiple language tasks and reported validation perplexity on different datasets, 
showcasing that BitNet B1.58 outperforms Llama LLM in terms of speed, memory usage, and performance starting from a 3B model size, demonstrating its efficiency as a Pareto improvement over existing LLM models. Section. Training with 2T tokens. In this section, we delve into the importance of the number of training tokens for large language models, LLMs, and our efforts to scale BitNet B1.58 with a massive 2 trillion tokens. We followed the training approach of STABLELM3B, a leading open source model with 3 billion parameters, to see how well our model could perform. We compared both models using a set of benchmarks that included Winogrande, PIQA, PsiQ, Lombada, and ArcEasy, focusing on their zero shot accuracy. For tasks where accuracy and normalized accuracy were relevant, we averaged the two metrics. The performance of stable LM3B with 2 trillion tokens was directly taken from its technical report. Our analysis revealed that BitNet B1.58 outperformed on all tasks, showcasing its strong ability to generalize from the training data. Moving on to our discussion and plans for future work, we first address the mixture of experts, MO, approach in LLMs. MO models are known for being cost-effective due to their lower computational demands. However, they tend to use a lot of memory and require significant communication between chips, which can be a barrier to their deployment. We believe that 1.58-bit LLMs, like BitNet B1.58, can overcome these challenges. They use less memory which means fewer devices are needed for deployment and less data needs to be moved across networks. Ideally, we could even fit entire models on a single chip, eliminating overhead completely. Another critical area in the development of LLMs is their ability to process long sequences of data. This is often limited by the memory needed for key value, KV, caches. By reducing the size of activations from 16 bits to 8 bits, BitNet B1.58 doubles the context length that can be handled with the same resources. We're also exploring how to compress these activations further, potentially down to 4 bits or even lower, without losing information, which could be a significant breakthrough for 1.58-bit LLMs. The potential of 1.58-bit LLMs extends to edge and mobile devices, which are typically constrained by their memory and processing power. By reducing the memory and energy requirements, BitNet B1.58 can be deployed on these devices, opening up a range of new applications that were previously unfeasible. This could significantly enhance the capabilities of such devices and lead to innovative uses of LLMs. Additionally, since these models are more compatible with CPU devices, which are commonly used in edge and mobile technology, BitNet B1.58 can be run more efficiently further boosting their performance. Lastly, we touch upon the development of new hardware specifically designed for 1-bit LLMs. Recent advancements have shown promising results, and we believe that there is a great opportunity to create hardware and systems optimized for this new computational paradigm introduced by BitNet. This could lead to significant improvements in the efficiency and effectiveness of LLMs, paving the way for even more innovative applications and uses.